Restaurant sanitation. Here are some sanitation guidelines for restaurants and the catering business to follow to make sure that they are having the safest, cleanest, and most sanitized conditions. So first off, why is sanitation critical? Well, it's the professional obligation of the manager, the supervisor, whoever's in charge with the certification to protect the health and the well-being of the guests, the customers, and the staff members. So let's put this into perspective. In our classroom, it is the teacher's responsibility to make sure that the Illinois Food Code um, and the FDA code is being followed and the room conditions are clean and sanitary. So it is important that you are following your teacher's guidelines to make sure that you are cleaning up responsibly so we are not putting our guests, the people we serve food to, in danger as well as putting yourself in danger. Um, so it's important that we are keeping a very, very clean room because we don't want anyone to get sick. Next, sanitation is also very critical because society has concerns about restaurant sanitation practices. We there's shows on TV about you know dirty conditions and cleaning them up, and we see it in the news. So it's really really important that if you are working in a restaurant and you are preparing food for public consumption, that you are maintaining uh, just very very clean and sanitary conditions and cooking food properly. Um, sanitation is also critical because the reputational concerns for the restaurant. If the restaurant or for example our class is not keeping clean and sanitary conditions it's we are going to have a bad reputation uh, or that restaurant is going to have a bad reputation and people simply aren't going to go to that restaurant or people simply in our predicament are not going to order food from us and then we're not going to have um, the orders that we usually do have and the experience that you are provided. Financial success relates to the, the emphasis on sanitation. When restaurants have clean and sanitary conditions, in most cases, people are going to want to keep going back. Are they always going to have the best tasting food? Maybe not, but as long as you know you are in clean and sanitized area, you're just more prone to go back to that establishment. Um, if there is a foodborne illness outbreak in a specific establishment, then there is all the money associated with lawsuits um, and all of the stuff that restaurants and catering businesses do not want to deal with, as well as we don't want to deal with it in our class. Here are some regulatory agencies about sanitation. Um, this is all at the FDA level in most cases. So the national level that oversees each individual state. Um, so you need to be familiar with each of these. The first one is the FDA. You, I know you've learned this in every class. And this is just the model food code. So the FDA food code is the model food code for each individual state. And then each individual state takes that food code and kind of modifies it. Um, they can't lessen the standards, but they can always raise the standards. And Illinois is a state that raises the standards. So it's very similar. Our, the Illinois food code is very similar to the FDA code. It's just a little bit different. Maybe temperatures are a little bit different or processes, etc. But it's, it's very, very, very similar. Then the next one is the USDA, uh, the United States Department of Agriculture, and this should be a review for you um, from Pastry Chef, and their main job is to inspect food processing plants. Pretty much, they, they inspect meat, um, they also grade meat, and they also inspect fruits and vegetables. So they pretty much are inspecting anything like on a farm, in a farmyard, etc. Then there's the United States Department of Commerce. They are in charge of grading standards for seafood, only seafood. So this is a new regulatory agency that you're not familiar with. So when we refer to seafood, we're talking about fish, shellfish, crustaceans, etc. anything from the sea. They're going to grade it, and they're also going to maintain the standards um, for the seafood. And this is at the national level, so this is in the entire United States. And then there's the United States Environmental Protection Agency, and they are maintaining the standards and the levels for pesticide residues on food. So what that means is when you go and buy produce in a grocery store, it has pesticide on it. And the United States Environmental Protection Agency, they set the 
they tell like farmers how much pesticides they can actually how much residue they can leave on the produce and then last but not least is the Center for Disease Control and Prevention and this is the CDC um, this may be new or not new for you to hear um, and they are in charge of investigating outbreaks of foodborne illnesses so how it happens is if you were to come down with a foodborne illness you go to a hospital and the hospital will run tests and if they declare that you have a foodborne illness they'll maintain a record and if more people in the same week or so come in with the same conditions and the same strand of the foodborne illness then if two or more people have that happens with the hospital will declare that a foodborne illness outbreak they report to the CDC and the CDC does further investigations the CDC is the agency that will actually report to the news so the public is aware that there is a foodborne illness outbreak and you see that probably a lot in the news like years back when there was the salmonella scare with tomatoes that was investigated by the CDC and then they report to the FDA so all of these different agencies are are working hand in hand together to make sure that the public's um, health is at the utmost uh, priority now moving on the restaurant manager and sanitation so what exactly is the restaurant managers responsibilities um, and this would be like in our classroom your teacher is the is the manager so they recognize that sanitation poses an ever-present danger and the, yes we know this we know that if we don't maintain sanitary conditions we are putting um, people at risk in the in the school and at a restaurant we know that we're putting the public the community members also at risk it's the manager's responsibility to learn about basic sanitation principles and then practice them. So practice what you preach. Um, they are required as the restaurant manager in the state of Illinois to maintain the certification um, and take the 15-hour class that the, the state requires. The restaurant manager is also uh, required to train and supervise employees. Most establishments, if they're well developed, they're going to have a training period um, to train the employee in proper safety and sanitation. And then as the, the employees are working, the manager is going to supervise and make sure that everyone is working up to par following the food code. The restaurant manager is responsible for providing proper tools and equipment for maintaining clean and sanitary conditions. So for example, we need to make sure, like in our classroom, the three sink sanitizer, the dishwasher, um, we need to make sure that those things are working, working adequately, and if they're not working adequately, then the manager should tell you not to use them and follow a different method for cleaning uh, dishes properly. And then last but not least, the restaurant manager should coach employees, encourage them, give them feedback, give them praise for when they do good things, especially when they're maintaining very clean and adequate conditions, because that is the number one thing in a restaurant that should be maintained regularly. Um, your role as a restaurant employee is to also practice appropriate personal hygiene. So food service workers are the main source of contamination that can cause foodborne illness in restaurants. And what because of touching the food, handling the food, and if restaurant workers don't wash their hands, um, don't wear gloves, then we're gonna there's gonna be a problem that is on gonna pose to that establishment or to our little catering business. Restaurant workers are consistently handling food waste, um, so. Basic sanitation needs to be followed when you're taking out the garbage, going to the bathroom, etc. Restaurant employees need to recognize their impo important role in protecting the health and well-being of restaurant guests and employees. So when your teacher says, make sure you wash your hands, it's really important that you are washing your hands and your teacher or your manager, in any case that you may be in, you know this. You should walk in and you should wash your hands with warm water and you know, follow the food code. Your teacher's not trying to be a pest, they're just trying to make sure that you are serving in the best way you possibly can under the best conditions. What you're gonna do now is you are going to find some information on your own. On your sheet, um, you will see 
different cues to go to different areas and then to take some basic notes. Now, a lot of this is going to be a review. Some of it may not be a review. Um, if you have any questions, please talk to your teacher. Thank you.